Chapter 1 Physical Quantities and Measurements Subtopic Dimension Dimension of Physical Quantities Dimension is defined as a technique or method which the physical quantity can be expressed in terms of combination of basic quantities. It can be written as bracket, physical quantity or its symbol. Table shows the dimension of basic quantities. Mass, capital M, kg. Length, capital L, M. Time, capital T, S. Electric current, capital A or I, unit A. Temperature, symbol, theta, unit, capital, K. Amount of substance, symbol, capital N, unit, mole. The uses of dimensional analysis are to determine the unit of the physical quantity, to determine whether a physical equation is dimensionally correct or not by using the principle of homogeneity, meaning dimension on the left-hand side equal to dimension on the right hand side. The last one, to derive or construct a physical equation. Note, dimension of dimensionless constant is 1. Example, if the value is 2, meaning Dimension of dimensionless constant consider as 1. Dimension cannot be added or subtracted. Example 1.1 Determine a dimension and the SI unit for the following quantities. A. Velocity B. Acceleration C. Force Determine the dimension and SI unit for the velocity. In first, we start with the equation of velocity. Velocity equal to change in displacement over time interval. Okay, from here, so we need to show by using dimensional analysis. So what we need to do is
is L. And then for the D, the symbol of dimension is capital T. Therefore, dimension of velocity equal to L per T. From here, so we can state as a unit. Okay. Macam mana kita nak dapatkan as a unit untuk velocity? Now, check with the symbol. Length as a unit in meter. Time as a unit in second. Therefore, as a unit for velocity in meter per second. Next question, acceleration. Okay. We need to check the equation of acceleration. Acceleration equal to change in velocity over time interval. Okay, next. Apa yang perlu kamu buat? Okay, good. So, you need to draw bracket. So 
the next step, you need to write the bracket. Okay. After that? Okay, good. So now, dimension of force equal to okay, the symbol for the mass become capital M. Dimension of mass is capital M. Dimension of acceleration LT negative 2. Am I right? Ah, kalau tak ingat, tengok sini. Ah, previous answer here. So, check LT negative 2. Okay, so, kena letak kat sini. We put here LT negative 2. Therefore, dimension of force equal to MLT negative 2. So from here, so we can find as a unit of the force is mass.